Good afternoon, we will uh, continue our discussion on uh, the economic value added and the accounting profits. In one of our previous sessions, we saw that in general profit whether economic or accounting are more or less same except the fact that economic value added considers the cost of capital, which is not visible in uh, the accounting profits. Whereas, um, there is another important adjustment, which is actually considered while computing the economic value added, which I call accounting adjustments. And these accounting adjustments are, are actually given a name called equity equivalents. Now, let us spend some time on understanding what are these accounting adjustments, what is the purpose of these accounting adjustments and the process of doing this accounting adjustment. As we know, accounting at accounting profit is computed on the basis of the generally accepted accounting principles. And uh, while following the generally accounting principles, there are assumptions are made about the life, about the cost, about uh, the amortization period. So, there are many assumptions which get into while computing the accounting profits. So, most of the time the balance sheet, which is a reflection of generally accepted accounting principle may be far away from the market or may, may not reflect the economic reality. Therefore, while well, computing economic value added in principle, they say that there is a need to make these adjustments to convert the accounting profit into economic profit to reflect the market reality. What are those adjustments? I will I'll take one by one. Let me start with a concept like goodwill. We know that goodwill arises whenever a company acquires another company and the excess money paid over the net asset is a goodwill. And this goodwill as per the generally accepted accounting principle is amortized over a period of time. Whereas, EVA calculation says goodwill is not to be amortized. Every year or periodically there is a need to compare, find out the value of this uh, goodwill by understanding the profit generating ability of the business and then revalue the goodwill. In the process, we do not try to amortize the goodwill in EVA, but make it a point to retain that on the balance sheet as an asset, compare the goodwill with the market value and if possible and if necessary impair the goodwill. So, as a result there is an adjustment from amortization to impairment. Similarly, the research and development is another expense, which accounting says should be amortized over a period of time. Whereas, EVA calculation says no amortization once again. So, R and D the amount which has been amortized will be now added back to the profit and will be shown on the balance sheet as an asset. And periodically it will be compared with the market value and again the process of impairment happens. So, this is another adjustment where we try to convert an expense into an asset and compare the book value of an asset with the market value, if necessary impair it or bring the market value to the books. Similarly, the other asset which has a huge implication on EVA, value, EVA calculation is the inventory cost of goods sold. The basic principle of accounting is that the stock or inventory is valued at cost or the market value whichever is lower whichever is lower to, to convey the message of conservatism, which is the fundamental principle of accounting. Whereas, EVA says not whichever is lower, but let us value the stock at the market value, whether higher or lower is not an issue. So, as a result, if the stock is valued at a cost or the market value, whichever is lower and uh, the market value is higher, then EVA calculation will recognize that excess market value and bring that into the books of account in the name of leaf or reserve or inventory reserve. So, if you see these three important adjustment, one is with respect to goodwill, the other is with respect to R and D, the other is with respect to the cost of goods sold, all these three adjustments are effort to convert a book value of asset into the market value of asset. Because of this, there will be an impact on a profit, because of this, there will be an impact on the asset as a result the capital reserves, capital uh, employed will go up. So, all these items together are called economic um, equity equivalents and this equity equivalents are the adjustments for converting accounting profits into economic profits. Thank you very much.